Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrunning Beginner's Guide. This is episode 16 and 17 of the No Debt Route. The reason we're going to do these two episodes together is because they flow one right into the other. You can't save in between. Alright, so what we're going to do is check our gem count. We're at about 386. As long as you're around this, that's fine. Level 5 Gauge, Level 4 Kick, Level 2 Stasis, Level 4 Typhoon. Alright, so when you finish episode 15, the game is just going to spawn you right here, and it's going to autosave, and you can't start 16 until it finishes autosaving. So while it's autosaving, we're just going to be picking up these gems right around here. Just grab all of them, and then we're going to start the episode. Alright, episode 16, the important thing is going to be Nushi 2. It's going to be the first and only time we use Micro Black Hole in the run. It's basically when Micro Black Hole hits Nushi's gem... Uh, and his bones at the same time it instantly kills the gems on his back So we're gonna use one black hole to basically kill every single gem on his back The gems have increasingly more health the closer they are to his head So the one that's closest takes seven gravity kicks to kill and the one that's farthest away near his tail only takes one All right, so the cutscene skip coming up here is just gonna be when Raven goes blue Right here and when, uh, so Nushi's gonna be coming up from a little bit to our right, but basically kind of where we're facing. We're just gonna float right in front of him, start a black hole, and just kind of travel down his back and kill as many gems as we can. If we get an ideal black hole, then it should just leave one gem on his tail. Okay, there's the first one. There we go. Okay. Okay, so he does have two gems. So this one's going to take one. And there we go, we got that last one. Okay, so ideally you can have one on the tail, but that's going to be fine as long as you have... Uh, if you just have the two left. But we're basically just going to be picking up as many gems as we can. Uh, the important thing... There's no real super strict route here, just because at this point in the game, we have all of the upgrades we're pretty much going to need. So we're just going to kind of kick towards the flowers that we see are close. As long as we're following Gen Nushi's general path, we should be fine. Once you're gauged, so you'll hear your black hole come back, and that's actually pretty perfect timing for when Nushi's going to rear up to like expose his gems so we can finally finish off the fight. The important thing here is we're going to want to get to gauge usage 8, and we're going to want to... Uh, have probably somewhere around like 200 gems afterwards, if that's possible. That should be fine. So we're gonna do gauge usage up to 8. And 8. Alright, yeah, we're totally good on gems. Okay, so as you see, we get our gauge back, and then he's gonna rear up his head. And then we're just gonna RGK him to kill. And triangle. Actually, that's what it's supposed to be. All right, cutscene skip here is gonna be when Cat looks back at Dusty, and then we're just gonna mash options through these cutscenes. And here we're gonna start episode 17. So this is called the Ascent. Uh, this is one of the more difficult chapters in the game, and the fight at the end can definitely be a big time loss if you're um, not too confident in fighting Swordfish or you get Gravity Typhoon cancelled, that can be really hard in this episode. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to kick up here, and we're going to Gravity Pump, because we want to make it all the way to where the first fight starts without actually running out of gravity. Um, and we're, once we clear the first Gravity Storm, which is basically just going to come from Typhooning the entire fight, uh, then we'll start heading up the pillar. Gravity pumping here. It does get pretty close with gravity pumping how much gauge you have remaining. Alright, so we're just gonna gravity typhoon, uh, and then you can clear this entire wave if you gravity typhoon it correctly. Make sure we take care of these guys. Okay, that should be good. If you can, you could try to grab this 25, um, but it's not a big deal if you get it or not. Alright, after we clear that first gravity storm, we're going to start kicking up here. Basically, the goal is going to be that we want about 1,200 gems before we finish this episode. Which, at this gem count, is going to be easy to get. 
So follow these. You don't need to grab that set over there, that row of 25s. And now we're going to need to get to the guy who uh, gives us the letter, the ghost. So we're going to grab him. He always is there on the left of those ge of the gems that we were up. So as soon as you get up there, he's just going to be on the left. And now we're just going to kick straight up. With level 8 gauge, you can make it all the way up to where you need to go without ever running out. So we'll just kick straight up. And we're going to head over here. And then... This is letter fight. So before we start, I want to talk about it a little bit. It's basically we're going to have two spinies, a walker, a puffer, and then two swordfish. The goal here is we're going to kill the puffer with one kick, and then this two spinies, it'll aggro the two spinies. While they're doing their animation, before they make themselves vulnerable, we're going to rapid gravity kick the walker as fast as possible, and then we're going to kill the two spinies, and that should be right around the time when Gravity Typhoon comes back, and then we'll use Typhoon to finish off the swordfish. Um, so... Yeah, I might get it back a little bit earlier because I'm sitting here and explaining it, but I'm going to show you that route of the fight, and that should be the best way to do it. Alright. So we're going to kill the puffer here. Then we're going to RGK the walker. You can see the spinies are doing their attack. As soon as they become vulnerable, though, ignore the walker and kill the spinies, because if you don't kill them fast enough, then you will lose time. So then we'll kill the walker. I'll just finish him off. I'll just use Gravity Typhoon. I just need to make sure that I don't get cancelled. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab some health before it dies. Sadly, I didn't get it. Alright, so that's gonna be Letter Fight. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of health here just to be safe. Actually, at any point, and I'll just showcase this, if you do upgrade health, because we have more than enough gems, then it does fully heal you. Um, as well as give you the additional health, so that's going to be your go-to kind of use of gems after this point, uh, in order for emergency health upgrades. Oops. Okay, so that point you want to fast fall through the swordfish wave there. Uh, the last one can hit you, it's pretty common that it does. Um, but... You just want to be a little careful about that. Okay, so this fight... Let me pause real quick. This fight is uh, called the Ascent Fight. It's one of the most difficult in the game uh, to play consistently. You got three puffers. I think it's like five or six swordfish. And then you have this dragon here. So the goal is we'll kill the puffers first because they're stationary. They're easy to fight. And then we'll start killing swordfish until Gravity Typhoon comes back. We want to focus Gravity Typhoon on the dragon because he's going to... He's going to deal a lot of damage. Uh will not deal a lot of damage, but he's just really hard to kill. So we're going to kick those, we're going to kill the swordfish, and then when it comes back, you need to make sure that he's not actively shooting bullets at you when you start up Gravity Typhoon, because it will cancel you, and that can that will cost you a very, very... Um, it'll cost you a lot of time. So, alright, here we'll start by killing the puffers. Oop, I guess the swordfish just decided to get in my way. These puffers will always drop health, and the swordfish will always drop blue gems. Don't be aware of that. Boom. Boom. Got him. My gravity typhoon should be coming back relatively soon. Okay. So he's already shot, so that means that I'm good to start up Typhoon. But as you can see, he doesn't take very long to start shooting again. And if you get hit during the startup of your Gravity Typhoon and you get Gravity Typhoon cancelled, that can be really, really brutal. Oh, that. Okay, that so yeah, but as you can see, Swordfish are rather annoying, and so this fight is just difficult to do consistently fast. Alright, so after we get here... We're just gonna go kick along this side. As long as I said, like I said, you have 2,000, 1,200 gems, um, that's all you're really gonna need. So we have well, um, way more than enough at this point. And so right before you finish up the episode, we are going to uh, upgrade Stasis Field twice. Once you have four Stasis, four Typhoon, eight Gauge, uh, and four Kick, that's all the upgrades that you're gonna be needing for pretty much the rest of the game. And once you trigger this cutscene, that's going to be the end of episode 17. This cutscene skip's going to be when you see the like group of three little cardboard boxes uh, show up. That's going to be when the cutscene skip is. And alright, so that's going to be the end of episode 17. 
16, 17 for the debt route. From here on out, I'm going to be using the debt file for the rest of the run, uh, just because it's a little bit more accurate, but the basically the routes just converge. So none of the strats are going to change between the debt and the no debt route because they're all the same at this point because we have all the upgrades that we need. All right, but uh, I will see you in the next episode. Of course, any questions, leave them in the comments, and thank you so much.